The fleet of plug-in electric vehicles in Norway is the largest per capita in the world. In March 2014, Norway became the first country where one in every 100 passenger cars on the road was a plug-in electric. The market penetration passed 5% in December 2016 and attained 10% in October 2018. The Norwegian plug-in car segment market share has been the highest in the world for several years, achieving 39.2% in 2017, up from 29.1% in 2016, and around 50% for the first 11 months of 2018. The stock of light-duty plug-in electric vehicles registered in Norway totaled almost 275,000 units at the end of September 2018, consisting of 183,637 all-electric passenger cars and vans, and 89,922 plug-in hybrids, including a significant number of used imports from neighboring countries. As of September 2018, the country has the largest European stock of light-duty plug-in vehicles, and the fourth largest in the world after China, the US and Japan. The fleet of electric cars is one of the cleanest in the world since 98% of the electricity generated in the country comes from hydropower. In 2017, and as a result of its fast-growing EV adoption, Norway was able to achieve its climate target for average fleet CO2 emissions 85 grams per kilometer for new passenger cars three years earlier than pledged. The adoption and deployment of zero-emission vehicles in Norway has been driven by policy, and actively supported by the government since the 1990s. Among the existing public incentives, all electric cars and vans are exempt from all non-recurring vehicle fees, including purchase taxes, and 25% VAT on purchase, making electric car purchase price competitive with conventional cars. Also, a tax reduction for plug-in hybrids went into effect starting in July 2013. In April 2015, after achieving the initial goal of 50,000 pure electric vehicles on the road, a decision was made to keep the existing incentives through 2017, and Parliament agreed to reduce and phase out some of the incentives beginning in 2018. Also local authorities were granted the right to decide whether electric cars can park for free and use public transport lanes. In 2016, through its National Transport Plan 2018-2029 NTP, a goal was set for all sales of new cars, urban buses and light commercial vehicles by 2025 to be zero emission vehicles. As a result of the successful policies implemented to promote EV adoption, the stock of electric vehicles in Norway has increased rapidly, resulting in several unintended intended consequences, and raising several complaints and criticism. These include, high public subsidies as compared to the value of the reduced carbon footprint of electric vehicles, the possibility of traffic congestion in some of Oslo's bus lanes due to the increasing number of electric cars, the loss of revenue for some ferry operators due to the large number of electric cars exempted from payment, and the shortage of parking spaces for owners of conventional cars due to preference to electric cars although this was actually the intended policy topic <laughs> <laughs> government goals and incentives topic <laughs> <laughs> existing incentives The adoption and deployment of electric vehicles in Norway, particularly zero-emission vehicles, has been driven by policy, and since 1990, actively supported by the Norwegian government. 
the Parliament of Norway set the goal to reach 50,000 zero emission vehicles by 2018. Among the existing incentives, all electric cars and utility vans are exempt in Norway from all non-recurring vehicle fees, including purchase taxes, which are extremely high for ordinary cars, and 25% VAT on purchase, together making electric car purchase price competitive with conventional cars. As an example, by early 2013 the price of the top-selling Nissan Leaf is 240,690 kroner around $42,500, while the purchase price of the 1.3 Lieutenant Volkswagen Golf is 238,000 kroner about $42,000. Electric vehicles are also exempt from the annual road tax, all public parking fees, and toll payments, as well as being able to use bus lanes. These incentives are in effect until the end of 2017 or until the 50,000 EV target is achieved. Sales of plug-in hybrids have had a much smaller market penetration than pure electric car sales. Plug-in hybrids are not eligible for the same tax exemptions and other government incentives enacted for electric cars. Because the Norwegian tax system levies higher taxes to heavier vehicles, plug-in hybrids are more expensive than equivalent gasoline and diesel-powered cars due to the extra weight of the battery pack and its additional electric components. Beginning on 1 July 2013, the existing weight deduction for conventional hybrids and plug-in hybrids of 10% was increased to 15% for PHEVs. The weight deduction was increased to 26% effective since January 2015. This fiscal incentive combined with a broader range of models available in the market resulted in record sales of plug-in hybrids in 2015, with almost 8,000 new units registered, up from about 1,700 in 2014. The plug-in hybrid market share rose to 5.2%, up from just over 1% 1 in 2014, and from 4.2% in September 2015 to 13.9% in September 2016. The government set identifying letters L, E, K, and EV for use on license plates of electric vehicles to facilitate the enforcement of EV incentives and perks such as free parking, free passage through toll booths etc. Correspondingly, hydrogen vehicles have high as identifying letters. There is no equivalent for plug-in hybrids, as the number of registered electric cars and vans reached 60,000 units by July 2015, and because the L prefix was set to end at L99999, most vehicles in the country have five-digit registration numbers between 10,000 and 99,999. The Norwegian Public Roads Agency opted for the prefix EK for the second series of plates to signify electrisk kjortoy, Norwegian for electric vehicle. The EV prefix was set aside for future electric cars in July 2016 the first electric vehicles registered with the new EK series were on the road about 90,000 pure electric vehicles have been registered by the end of August 2016 depleting the L prefix plates just over 2 years later in the summer of 2018 the EK series was depleted, and the prefix EV 
plates were deployed. In September 2013, the Norwegian parliament approved, as part of the revised 2014 budget, an exemption from the 25% VAT for leasing electric vehicles effective on 1 January 2014. However, as of September 2014, the exemption had not gone into effect because the Minister of Finance decided to defer the measure, pending a formal consultation with the EFTA Surveillance Authority to ensure that the VAT exemption for leasing was not in violation of the European Economic Area Agreement. The government's loss of revenue due to the still not implemented leasing exemption is estimated at about 47 million kroner around $7.3 million per year. One member of parliament has criticized the government for the delay. He argued that the initial VAT exemption for all electric vehicles was never approved in ESA. In addition, an ESA spokesman confirmed that the government has not sent any request as of September 2014, nor has the agency received any complaints about Norway's original EV tax exemption. The MP said he would demand that the decision be implemented when Parliament meets in October 2014. The consultation was presented to ESA in November 2014, and the authority ruled in April 2015 that the implementation of the VAT exemption on leasing of electric vehicles and electric vehicle batteries is in line the EEA agreement, since the goal is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The approval from ESA initially applies until the end of 2017, but the government can apply for an extension if the zero rate for VAT is kept. The exemption for leasing of electric vehicles went into effect in July 2015. The target of 50,000 electric cars on Norwegian roads was reached on 20 April 2015, more than two years earlier than expected. The milestone was commemorated by the Norwegian Electric Vehicle Association in Drammen where the 50,000th electric car registered, a Tesla Model S, was granted the license plate, L60,000. The special electric vehicle series began with L10,000 by reaching a stock of 50,000 electric cars. The market penetration of pure electric vehicles reached 2% of all passenger cars registered in Norway. The milestone of 100,000 light duty battery electric vehicles was achieved in December 2016, representing about 10% of all pure electric cars that have been sold worldwide. According to the Norwegian Electric Vehicle Association, if the country wants to reach the ambitious climate goals set by the parliament, the next goal is to have 400,000 battery electric vehicles by 2020. <laughs> Phase out of incentives As one of the criteria to end the incentives was achieved, as of April 2014, no decision was made by the authorities about the reintroduction of the 25% VAT on purchase of electric vehicles. Among the options considered by the government were to introduce the tax in a stepwise fashion. However, Prime Minister Erna Solbig announced the government decided not to make any changes about the electric car benefits in the 2015 budget. In early March 2015, negotiations began among parties represented in the parliament to define the future of all motor vehicles and fuel taxes. The Liberal Party wanted all the benefits to continue beyond the established quota. The Ministry of Finance also made a comprehensive review of all motor vehicle taxes. 
The two purchase tax exemptions cost the government about 3 billion krona around $480 million in lost revenue just in 2014, and up to 4 billion krona around $640 million if all the other benefits are accounted for. In May 2015, the government decided to keep the existing incentives through 2017, and the political parties in Parliament agreed to reduce and phase out some of the incentives. Beginning in January 2018, electric car owners will be required to pay half of the yearly road license fee and the full rate as of 2020. The value added tax VAT exemption for electric cars was scheduled to end in 2018, but replaced by a new scheme, which may be subjected to a ceiling that could be reduced as technology develops. The agreement also gave local authorities the right to decide whether electric cars can park for free and use public transport lanes. In March 2016, the Ministry of Transport issued new regulations for parking in locations with access to the general public. The new parking regulations, that went into effect on January 1, 2017, terminated the free parking for zero-emission vehicles, but established that municipalities are allowed to introduce payment exemption for electric and hydrogen-powered motor vehicles on municipal parking locations. As of September 2016, the city councils of Trondheim and Tunsberg decided to introduce full payment for EVs from 2017. The cities of Bodo and Trumsa introduced payment for parking in downtown but exempted parking outside the city's centre, and the cities of Oslo, Mandel and Drammen decided to keep free parking for zero emission vehicles. As of January 2018, 24 out of 58 major municipalities kept the free parking for EVs. Among the 34 municipalities that terminated the benefit, six kept different variants of partial free parking. For the 2017 national budget, the government proposed to extend the VAT exemption for zero emission vehicles until 2020. It also put forward a national rule to keep a maximum tax rate of zero emission vehicles equal to half the value charged to conventional cars. The budget proposal also included an adjustment to exempt plug-in hybrids from the higher taxes levied to heavier vehicles, and instead, to charge taxes based on their fuel economy under the new European Driving Cycle until 2016, all plug-in hybrids had a weight allowance of 26% regardless of their all-electric range or fuel efficiency. In October 2017, the national government proposed in its 2018 budget a new tax for EVs based on weight. This proposal would affect mainly bigger electric car models, all Tesla vehicles, and in particular the Tesla Model X after some public controversy, the proposal was dropped. Nevertheless, Tesla's sales surge at the end of 2017 for consumers' fear of the introduction of the new tax. Goals for 2018–2029 In February 2016, the government opened for public discussion until 1 July 2016 the proposed National Transport Plan 2018–2029 the plan explains that the transportation sector accounts for emissions of about 16.5 million tons of CO2, which is about one-third of the total greenhouse gas emissions produced domestically in Norway. And road traffic, including both private cars and heavy vehicles, account for about 10 million tons of CO2. The NTP set policies and actions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from private cars, 
trucks, ships, aircraft and construction equipment by about one half until 2030. In order to achieve this objective, among others, the NTP sets the goal for all sales of new cars, urban buses and light commercial vehicles in 2025 to be zero emission vehicles. This is all electric and hydrogen vehicles. By 2030, heavy-duty vans, 75% of new long-distance buses, and 50% of new trucks must be zero-emission vehicles. Also, by 2030, 40% of all ships in short-sea shipping should be using biofuels or be low- or zero-emission ships. The proposed strategy states that until zero emission vehicles take over, all internal combustion engine cars sold be plug-in hybrids, and wherever possible, biofuels must be used. Also, government agencies should as far as possible make use of biofuels, low and zero emission technologies in private and hired vehicles and vessels. The plan also calls to support the deployment of zero emission vehicles, but also for the reduction of the existing incentives, and proposes to invest more in public transport, walking and cycling. Criticism of the incentives Since 2013 several complaints and criticism have arisen due to the rapid increase in the number of electric vehicles on the roads as a result of the existing incentives to promote EV adoption, and particularly about the non-fiscal incentives. These include high public subsidies as compared to the value of the reduced carbon footprint of electric vehicles, the travel mode shift by people who buy an electric vehicle as a second car instead of taking buses and trains, the potential traffic congestion in Oslo's bus lanes due to the increasing number of electric cars, the loss of revenue for some ferry operators due to the large number of electric cars exempted from payment, and shortage of parking spaces for owners of conventional cars due to preference to electric cars and lack of a cap on parking time. <laughs> <laughs> Excessive subsidies According to the results of a study published by Reuters in March 2013, prepared by B. Jart Holtzmark, an analyst of Statistics Norway, the tax exemptions on the purchase of an electric car are worth almost $11,000 in comparison to the fully taxed price of a regular internal combustion engine car, which is equivalent to $1,400 a year over a car's lifetime. Eight years. The value of the toll exemption for driving into Oslo are worth $1,400 per year, the free parking is worth $5,000 per year, and electric cars avoid other charges worth $400 a year. Without adding value to the benefit of driving in bus lanes, the annual benefit of owning an electric car in Oslo is estimated at $8,200 per car, per year. The analysis used a Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid as the benchmark vehicle. Mr. Holtzmark also pointed out that, "...by encouraging people who can afford it to buy a second car instead of taking buses and trains, the electric car scheme may ironically be aggravating environmental problems and causing traffic jams." The Norwegian project Gron Bill Green Car disputed these figures because they consider the analysis is based on unrealistic assumptions. 
The group argues that the analysis used a very short total vehicle lifespan of 7.8 years, while Norway's average is closer to 18 years. It is very unlikely that a vehicle can be parked in Oslo between 1,875 hours and 3,000 hours per year to save the estimated $5 considering the existing time limits for parking, and the typical EV owner drives around 50 15,000 kilometers, 9,300 miles per year, not the 6,500 kilometers, 4,000 miles implicit in the analysis. Using what they consider more realistic assumptions, Gron Bill estimates that the annual benefit of owning an electric car in Oslo is estimated at $3,336 per car, per year, 40% of Holtzmark's estimation. They also found that the cost per tonne of CO2 emissions reduced is $2,499, not the $13,600 estimated by Holtzmark. <laughs> Bus lane congestion In December 2013 the newspaper Budsticker conducted an informal test to measure the difference in travel time between an electric car and a gasoline-powered car during the morning rush hour on a stretch of road between the suburban municipality of Aska in Akershus, and Skoyen, a neighborhood of Oslo. The electric car completed the trip in 19 minutes using the bus lane while it took 51 minutes for the conventional car traveling in the normal lanes. Around noon, the same trip took the electric car just 13 minutes. Budsticker also did a count of the number of vehicles traveling in the bus lane during the rush hour on December 3, 2013. The newspaper found that a total of 829 vehicles used the bus lane between 7.30 and 8.30 am, of which, 618 vehicles were electric cars Buses accounted for only 7.5% of the traffic in the bus lane, and taxis, two-wheelers and mini-buses made up the rest. The deputy director of the Institute of Transport Economics TOY, explained that the normal capacity of a highway lane is between 1,800 and 2,000 vehicles per hour, but because of the ramp entrances and exits, and the buses maneuvering in and out the bus lane to do their stops, the traffic flow starts to become troublesome when the number of vehicles in the bus lane is about 1,000 vehicles per hour. Although by December 2013 the traffic is approaching this limit, Toy's deputy director did not want to predict when this critical situation will occur. The manager of the Green Car Advocate Group Gron Bill warned that, If the only reason people bought an electric car is to drive in the bus lane, they will probably be disappointed sooner or later. By mid-2014, bus drivers in some parts of Oslo began complaining about the delays caused by the ever-increasing number of electric cars. An interviewed bus driver expressed his concern that the electric cars can create a vicious circle, tired of being stuck in traffic, bus users could be tempted to buy an electric car themselves, worsening the congestion problem. According to the Norwegian Public Roads Administration, as of August 2014, electric cars represent 85% of traffic in the bus lanes during rush hours. As of late August 2014, Norwegian ministers are under increasing pressure to reduce the non-financial incentives and tax breaks for electric cars in order to reduce a rising congestion problem, but no decision has been made by the central government authorities. 
The success of electric car adoption was unexpected, as the authorities planned to keep the incentives in place until the end of 2017, or until they reach 50,000 units. At the pace of sales reached during 2014, the target of 50,000 EVs registered could be met by April or May 2015, according to local authorities from the city of Oslo. The negative effects on the bus lanes occur only at certain places and in certain times of the day, particularly at the Norwegian National Road E18, west of Oslo. The problems are concentrated at the exit and entry ramps that in the long term might have serious consequences for bus accessibility. All the involved agencies are monitoring the situation and Oslo's authorities consider that restrictions for EVs to access the bus lanes should be considered only when it becomes a major problem for the buses. Topic. Burden on ferry operators As part of the incentives to promote EV adoption, plug-in electric vehicles are exempted from payment of ferryboat fees, but only the car crosses for free, the driver and each passenger pay the ordinary fare. The accelerated growth of electric cars on some ferry routes has caused complaints from ferryboat operators due to the increasing loss on their fare box revenues. According to Fossenamsus Sears, an operator with four ferry lines servicing Hordaland County, during the first seven months of 2014 the number of electric vehicles riding the service Krakede Huftheimer from Hordaland increased by 215% compared to the same period last year, for a total of 9,226 electric cars not paying the ferry fee though the end of July. The company argues that, "...no one could foresee the tremendous growth of electric cars we see on some ferry routes, but the Ostervol satellite connection involves a significant loss of revenue for us." On 1 June 2014, the company's home county of Saw Trondelig repealed the payment exemption for electric vehicles on the county ferries. The company has also requested to transport of Hordaland a similar end of the exemption or some form of the income loss compensation. Fossenamsus Sears has argued that the financial burden should be on the government not the ferry operators. As of 1 September 2014, the county of Hordaland had 5,016 registered electric cars, the second largest in Norway after Oslo. Hordaland transport authorities are studying the request but already have stated that the agency must follow state regulations for ferry rates and the regulations established for electric cars. Topic. Unfairness of free parking As an incentive to promote EV adoption, plug-in electric vehicles are exempted from public parking fees. Politicians in Trondheim, in Saw Trondelig County are complaining about the lack of parking spaces for owners of conventional cars due to preference to electric cars. The city has a five-hour time limit for electric cars to use street parking for free, but electric car owners who use their car to commute keep moving their cars during the day, and end up having free parking all day while they are at work. A city council member noted that in many streets there are large numbers of plug-in electric vehicles parked all day, and sometimes there are more electric cars than regular cars. This situation makes it difficult to find parking for those who come to the city to shop. In addition, the municipality of Trondheim is losing revenue. The city councillor wants to end the incentives electric car owners have to park downtown Trondheim all day long for free. Topic. 
Charging infrastructure As of March 2016, there are in the country 7,632 electric recharge points. The county with the most stations is Oslo with 1,996 points, followed by Akershus with 1,117, and Hordaland with 932. The Norwegian charging infrastructure includes 293 Chademo quick charging points and 194 fast charging points at Tesla supercharger stations. Topic: Usage patterns and attitudes. Topic: 2013 survey. In June 2013, the Norwegian Electric Vehicle Association Norsk conducted a survey among all electric car owners, with a total of 1,858 respondents, representing over 15% of all the electric car owners in Norway. The study found that the typical electric car owner is a middle-aged family father with higher education and income, and he owns a Nissan Leaf as one of two cars. A total of 85% of the respondents had two or more cars in their household because they need a second car for longer journeys given the limited range current electric cars can provide. However, for everyday needs, the study found that one electric car is sufficient. Norwegians travel 42 km on average every day, mostly by car. Based on the survey, the study found that 15% of the electric car owners do their daily travel with just their one electric car. These users opt for public transport or car rental, sharing for longer trips. Because high taxation on traditional cars in Norway makes it expensive to own a car, the study also found that about half of the respondents to the 2013 survey own a Nissan Leaf, the best selling electric car in Norway and among the top five at the general model ranking. About 5% of the respondents had more than one electric car, as some owners kept their old electric car such as TH, NK and Buddy when they bought a new one. The survey showed that in most cases electric cars replaced a traditional car 87%, but also use of public transport 10%, and walking and bicycling 1%. Regarding everyday use of electric cars, the study found that owners use the electric car mostly for commuting to work 89.6%, shopping 88.4%, and driving to after work activities 77.0%. Other uses include delivery of children to school or kindergarten and for business purposes On the other hand, use of the electric car for holiday travel is very limited .As for the charging patterns, the 2013 survey found that 85% of the respondents could charge in their own garage or parking lot, and 10% had access to charging in the shared apartment building where they live. This means that 95% of the respondents were able to charge their electric cars at home during the night. The survey showed that 59% of the respondents had access to charging where they work, and 48% at public charging stations in the area they normally use the electric car. Topic. 2016 survey The Norwegian Institute of Transport Economics conducted in March 2016 a survey among over 8,000 vehicle owners in Norway. 
The study's aim was to identify how the plug-in vehicles are used, why they are bought and how the technology is rated compared to owners of internal combustion engine vehicles. The sample consisted of 3,111 all-electric vehicles (BEV) owners, 2,065 private plug-in hybrid (PHEV) owners, and 3,080 ICE vehicle owners. The study found that buyers of BEVs and PHEVs have different transport needs but both are motivated by economy of use and environment, whereas all electric vehicle owners are also motivated by the free toll road incentive. The survey showed that normally diesel and gasoline vehicles are replaced with the purchase of a plug-in vehicle, but a larger share of battery electric vehicles become extra vehicles in households. BEV owners are younger, have more children, travel a longer distance to work and own more vehicles than other vehicle owners. Most BEV owners also own an ICEV, 4% a PHEV, and 4% more than one BEV. The remaining 21% only have one BEV, 46% of PHEV owners and 48% of ICEV owners belong to single vehicle household. The most multi-purpose BEV, Tesla Model S, is twice as common in single BEV households as in households also owning ICEVs, and four times as common in households owning several BEVs. Based on the survey, the researchers found that plug-in hybrid owners in Norway drive on average 55% of their annual distance in charge depleting or all-electric mode, mode and the share goes up to about 63% for work trips. The share of electric travel is higher for trips to work and in the summer, and lower in the winter. The average plug-in hybrid user in the survey drives 60% of the total distance in EV mode in the summer and 53% in winter. The estimate for work trips is higher at 70% in the summer and 59% in winter. On the other hand, the study found that battery electric vehicles are driven more in total and in everyday traffic. According to the survey results, plug in vehicles are mainly charged at home, whether in their garage or at an outdoor parking on the owner property, with 59% of BEV owners and 74% of PHEV owners charging this way. Only 6% of BEV owners and 5% of PHEV owners never charge at home. Charging at work is relatively common among BEV owners, 28% do it more than twice a week, 38% weekly. About 21% of PHEV owners do it at least weekly. Charging elsewhere is rare, but BEVs owners more frequently recharged at public charging stations and shopping centers than PHEV owners. Fast charging is used for irregular trips where users plan to use fast chargers to accomplish the trip or to solve a problem on the go. Most battery electric vehicle owners manage everyday life well and are satisfied with the vehicle which in combination with attractive local incentives not available to plug-in hybrid owners and other vehicle users, peer-to-peer -peer influences is particularly important to diffusion of battery electric vehicles being the biggest source of information leading to the purchase. Plug-in hybrid buyers received most information leading to the purchase from dealers and advertising material. The four reasons most frequently mentioned by the 89% of BEV owners who say they will buy a BEV again are economy of use, environmental performance, future-proof technology, and the free usage of toll roads without paying. Less than 1% will not buy a BEV again. The reasons not to buy again are range and charging issues. 
The three main reasons why 80% of PHEV owners say they will buy one again are economy of use, environmental performance and that the technology is future-proof. Only 2% will not buy a PHEV again. The main reasons not to buy again are the short range in all electric mode and inability to use EV mode when it is cold. Topic 2018 survey The Norwegian Electric Vehicle Association Norsk conducted a survey among all electric car owners in June 2018 with a total of 9520 respondents. The study found that 63% of Norwegian households with electric cars also have a fossil car or hybrid car, down from 70% in 2017. The survey also found that among respondents having only one car in the household, one-third are electric car owners, up from 26.3% in 2017. Topic. Sales The government's initial goal of 50,000 pure electric vehicles on Norwegian roads was achieved by late April 2015. The stock of light-duty plug-in electric vehicles registered in Norway passed the 100,000-unit milestone in April 2016, and registrations of light-duty all-electric vehicles achieved the 100,000-unit milestone in December 2016. As of August 2016, there were 34 models of highway capable plug in vehicles available in the Norwegian market, 19 plug in hybrids, and 15 all electric cars and utility vans. As of December 2016, a total of 135,276 light duty plug in electric vehicles have been registered in Norway, allowing the country to have the largest. European stock of plug-in cars and vans, and the fourth largest in the world after China, the US and Japan. Of these, 50,834 plug-ins were registered in 2016 37.6%, including 5,281 used imports. Norway was the top selling plug-in country market in Europe in 2016 with 45,492 new plug-in cars and vans registered, surpassing the Netherlands, Europe's top market in 2015. Also, Norway was the first country in the world to have all electric cars topping the new car sales monthly ranking. From September 2013 to November 2016, nine times a plug-in electric car has topped the country's monthly ranking, four times the Tesla Model S, twice the Nissan Leaf, once the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV, once the Tesla Model X, and once the BMW i3. In March 2014, the Tesla Model S also broke the 28-year-old record for monthly sales of a single model regardless of its power source. As of 30 November 2016, the Leaf ranked as the all-time best-selling plug-in electric car in the country with 27,115 Leafs on Norwegian roads at the end of November 2016, followed by the Volkswagen e-Golf with 15,991 units, and the Tesla Model S with 11,615 units. These figures include used imports. These three models account for more than half of the registered stock of all electric vehicles registered in the country. 
Norway is the largest European market for both the Nissan Leaf and the Tesla Model S as of December 2017, and accounting for both new and used imports registrations. The Norwegian light duty plug in electric fleet consisted of 141,951 all electric passenger cars and vans, and 67,171 plug in hybrids. The registered plug-in stock includes almost 2,700 all-electric vans and about 24,500 used imported electric cars from neighboring countries. As of 30 September 2013, the total plug-in electric registered stock included over 2,500 heavy quadricycles, such as the Kuwait Buddy 1087, TH, NK City 1120, and the Revive 299. These city cars are entitled to the special L. Licensed plate reserved for Norwegian electric vehicles. Used import sales of used imports in Norway are significant, and as of December 2015, over 11,500 used plug in vehicles imported from neighbouring countries had been registered, mainly pure electric cars. Registrations of used all-electric cars totaled 2,086 units in 2013, 3,063 in 2014 and 5,122 in 2015. In addition, about 1,300 used electric cars were imported into Norway before 2013. By September 2014 most imports came from France, particularly the Nissan LEAF model. Just in 2015, Norwegians imported a total of 21,756 used cars in 2015, of which highly sought plug in electric models top the list of imported cars the Nissan Leaf with 2,088 and the Kia Soul EV with 2,044. A total of 5,281 used imported electric cars were registered in 2016, up 3.1% 3 from 2015, with registrations led by two popular plug-in models, the Kia Soul and the Nissan Leaf Market penetration In March 2014, Norway became the first country where over one in every 100 registered passenger cars is plug-in electric, out of a fleet of over 2.52 million passenger cars. All electric vehicles reached a market penetration of 1.02% of the total registered passenger fleet, and for the entire plug-in electric segment the market penetration increases to 1.07% when plug-in hybrids are accounted for. In March 2015, the plug-in segment market penetration passed 2%, and the all-electric segment alone reached 2% of the country's 2.5 million registered passenger cars by late April 2015. The market penetration of the country's plug-in electric car segment passed 3% in December 2015. The all-electric segment achieved a market penetration of 3.5% in September 2016. As of 31 December 2016, plug-in cars represented 5% of the all-passenger cars on Norwegian's roads, and the 10% milestone was achieved in October 2018. Plug-in concentration also, due to its population size, Norway is the country with the largest EV ownership per capita in the world. In 2013, the EV concentration reached four plug-in electric vehicles per 1,000 people. In 2013, nine times higher than the U.S., the world's largest plug-in electric car market at the time. 
By July 2016, the market concentration had increased to 21.5 registered plug-in cars per 1,000 people, 3.6 times higher California's, the leading American market, and 14.2 times higher than the U.S. average concentration, then the world's largest country market. Market share of Norwegian plug-in electric car market share of new car sales is the highest in the world. The segment's market share rose from 1.6% in 2011, to 3.1% in 2012, and reached 5.6% in 2013. Only the Netherlands, with 5.34% in 2013, achieved a similar market share. In 2014 the overall plug-in car take rate climbed to 13.8%, and reached 22.4% in 2015. With a plug-in market share of 9.7% in 2015, the Netherlands had the world's second largest market share after Norway. A new record plug-in market share of 29.1% of new car sales was achieved in 2016. The all-electric segment register a market share of 15.7%, down from 17.1% in 2015, while the market share of plug-in hybrids rose to 13.4%. This result reflects a new trend in the Norwegian plug-in electric market that began in 2016, as annual sales and the market share of all electric cars suffered a decline over the previous year, while the plug-in hybrid segment experienced significant growth. A new monthly record was set in December 2017, when the plug-in car segment achieved 50% of new registrations. The plug-in segment again set a record market share in 2017 with 39.2% .2 of new passenger cars registered, with 20.8% for the all-electric segment and 18.4% for plug-in hybrids. Adding conventional hybrids, the electrified segment for the first time ever surpassed the combined annual registrations of cars only powered by gasoline or diesel, with a market share of 52.2% of new cars registrations in 2017, the world's highest ever monthly market share for the plug-in electric passenger segment in Norway, and in any country was achieved in September 2018 with the market share of 60.2% of new car registrations. Accounting for conventional hybrids, the electrified segment achieved a new record 71.5% market share. Sales records Norway was the first country in the world where plug-in electric cars have been listed among its top 10 best-selling new cars in a given month, and the first one to have all-electric cars topping the new car sales monthly ranking. Since 2013, plug-in cars have topped the new car sales monthly ranking nine times. The Tesla Model S has been the top-selling new car four times, twice in 2013, first in September and again in December, and one more time in March 2014, and again in March 2015. The Nissan Leaf has topped the monthly new car sales ranking twice, first in October 2013 and again in January 2014. Both the Nissan Leaf and the Tesla Model S were listed among the Norwegian top 20 best-selling new cars in 2013, with the Leaf ranking third with 4,604 units and a 3.2% market share, and the Model S ranking 20th with a 1.4% market share of new car sales in 2013. In March 2014, the Tesla Model S also broke 
the 28-year-old record for monthly sales of a single model regardless of its power source, with 1,493 units sold, surpassing the Ford Sierra, which sold 1,454 units in May 1986. In July 2016, when new car registrations are break down by type of powertrain, for the first time a plug-in hybrid, the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV, listed as the top-selling new car. In September 2016, the Tesla Model X ranked as the top-selling new car model in Norway when registrations are broken down by type of POE train. The BMW i3 was the top-selling new passenger car in November 2016. 2011–12 A total of 2,240 electric cars were sold in 2011, up from 722 in 2010. A total of 5,411 electric cars and vans were registered in the country at the end of 2011. Sales in 2011 were led by the Mitsubishi i Miev family with 1,477 units including 1,050 i Miefs, 217 Peugeot Irons and 210 Citroen C0s, together representing 66% of electric car sales in Norway that year. All time registrations were led by the TH, NK City with 1,216 units registered at the end of 2011, followed by the Kuwait Buddy with 1,125 units and the Mitsubishi i Miev with 1,050 units. At the end of the first quarter of 2012 the TH, NK City 1,205 units was surpassed as the all-time top-selling electric car by the Mitsubishi i Miev 1,223, while registrations during this quarter were dominated by the Nissan LEAF with over 600 units registered. Registrations totaled 4,679 plug-in electric cars in 2012, including 318 plug-in hybrids and 59 electric vans. Plug-in electric drive sales in 2012 represented a 3.1% market share of passenger car sales in the country, up from 1.6% in 2011. Registrations in 2012 included 300 imported used electric vehicles, representing 1.0% of total used imports in the country. Among the top selling countries of all electric cars in 2012, Norway ranked fifth with a 7% market share of global EV sales. Sales in 2012 were led by the Nissan Leaf with 2,487 units registered, including 189 imported used Leafs, and Leaf sales represented 53% of the plug in segment sales that year. Cumulative sales reached 2,860 LEAFs since its launch in September 2011, accounting for more than 5% of the LEAFs' global sales. Norway was the first country in the world where an electric car ranked among the top 10 best-selling cars, as the Nissan LEAF ranked 9th in October new car sales, and ended 2012 in the 13th place, representing a market share of 1.7% of all new car sales in the country, up from 0.3% in 2011. The other top selling models in 2012 were the Mitsubishi i Miev with 672 units, seven used imports, Citroen C0 560, 47 used imports, and Peugeot Ion 477, 47 used imports, for a total of 1,709 i Miev family cars registered. 
Since 2009, the IMEV family sold 3,147 new electric cars through December 2012. Topic 2013. Plug-in electric car registrations totaled 10,769 units in 2013, of which used imports represented 20%. Total registrations included 387 plug-in hybrids and 355 all-electric light commercial vans, together representing 6.9% of total 2013 registrations, and reflecting the continued dominance of pure electric vehicles in the Norwegian market. The plug-in electric segment in Norway grew 129% from 2012 to 2013, achieving the second highest growth rate in the world after the Netherlands 338%. The Nissan Leaf continued leading the Norwegian plug-in market with 4,604 new units sold in 2013, representing 58.4% of all plug-in car sales. The Tesla Model S ranked second with 1,986 units 25.2%, followed by the Volkswagen E-Up, with 580 units 7.4%. Since September 2011, a total of 7,275 new LEAF cars have been sold in the country through December 2013. Accounting for used LEAFs imported from neighboring countries, of which, 1,608 units were registered during 2013, a total of 9,080 LEAFs have been registered in Norway through December 2013, representing 9.4% of the 96,847 LEAFs delivered worldwide through December 2013. The Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid was top-selling plug-in hybrid in 2013 with 184 units, followed by the Opel Ampera and Volvo V60 plug-in hybrid, both with 94 units. Tesla Model S deliveries began in Oslo on 7 August 2013, it was the first European retail delivery of a Model S. The first Model S was delivered to Frederick Haug, a Norwegian environmental activist. Model S sales together with record leaf sales, allowed the electric car segment to reach its best monthly sales and a record 6.0% market share of new passenger car sales in August 2013. Model S sales surged in September 2013, with a total of 616 units delivered, making the Tesla Model S the top-selling car in Norway during this month, representing a market share of 5.1% of all the new cars sold in the country, and contributing to a record 8.6% market share for all electric vehicle sales during September. The share climbs to 9.0% when plug-in hybrids and electric vans are accounted for. According to Reuters, the demand for the Model S is so high that there was a five-month waiting list, and as a result of the shortage, a used market has appeared. In October 2013, an all-electric car was the best-selling car in the country for a second month in a row. This time was the Nissan LEAF with 716 units sold, representing a 5.6% of new car sales. In December 2013, with 553 units sold and a 4.9% market share, the Model S was the top-selling new car in the country for the second time in 2013. A total of 1,986 new Model S cars were sold through December 2013, allowing Tesla's electric car to rank as the second top-selling electric vehicle in 2013 after the Nissan Leaf. 
According to Elon Musk, by the end of 2013 Norway became Tesla's largest per capita sales market for the Model S, together with Switzerland. Topic 2014 A total of 23,390 plug-in electric vehicles were registered in Norway in 2014, consisting of 18,094 new all-electric cars, 3,063 used imported all-electric cars, 1,678 new plug-in hybrid cars and 555 new all-electric vans. Combined sales of new and used plug-in electric vehicles captured a 13.84% market share of total passenger car registrations in 2014. The new all-electric car segment reached a market share of 12.5%. New all-electric passenger car registrations were up 129.5% from 2013, and the plug-in hybrid segment grew 411.6% from a year earlier. Norway was the top selling European country with 18,649 passenger cars and utility vans registered, representing a third of all European all electric car sales in 2014. In January 2014, the Leaf topped for a second time the ranking of top selling new cars in Norway, with 650 units sold, representing a 5.7% of new car sales that month. Nissan Leaf registrations passed the 10,000 unit milestone in February 2014. The Model S topped the monthly sales ranking for a third time in March 2014, with 1,493 units sold, capturing a 10.8% market share of new car sales that month, and contributing to a record market share for the all-electric car segment of 20.3% of total new car sales. The monthly market share of the plug-in electric car segment set a new record in January 2014, 18.0% for all electric cars and 3.1% for plug-in hybrids, for a combined market share of 21.1% of total new car registrations. A total of 2,056 Model S cars were sold during the first quarter of 2014, making the Model S the best-selling new car in Norway during 2014 so far, capturing a 5.6% market share of new car sales. The Renault Zoe was officially launched in the Norwegian market in April 2014, and unlike other European countries, the Zoe is sold with the battery pack included. During the first half of 2014, the Model S, with 3,136 units sold, ranked as the second best selling new car in Norway with a market share of 4.3% of new car sales, and also with was the top-selling plug-in electric car, with a 33.5% share of the all-electric segment sales. The LEAF, with 2,665 units, ranked fourth among the top-selling new cars, capturing a 3.7% market share of new car sales, and listed as the second top-selling plug-in car after the Model S, with a share of 28.5% of the all-electric segment sales. The other top selling plug in cars were the Volkswagen E Up, with 1,551 units and 16.6% .6 share of the all electric segment, the BMW i3 with 1,159 units, including sales of the variant with the range extender option, and captured a 12.4% share of the all electric segment. 
The recently released Volkswagen e-Golf was the top-selling plug-in electric car in July 2014 with 391 units sold and representing 34.4% of the Golf nameplate sales 1136, which was country's top-selling new car that month. The e-Golf was again the top-selling plug-in electric car in August 2014 with 467 units sold, representing 43.4% of the Golf nameplate sales that month 1075. In two months and a half a total of 925 Volkswagen e-Golf cars have been sold, surpassing initial Model S sales which delivered 805 units during its first two months in the Norwegian market. Sales of plug-in hybrids increased significantly during the first half of 2014, with 856 units sold. Sales were driven by the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV with 818 units sold between January and June 2014, representing 95.6% of the Norwegian plug-in hybrid segment. Only 25 Volvo V60 plug-in hybrids, 21 Prius PHVs and 15 Amperas were sold during this period. The Outlander plug-in version represented almost 54% of the 1,523 Outlanders sold in Norway in the first half of 2014. The Outlander PHEV passed the 1,000-unit mark in August 2014. Plug-in electric car sales in 2014 were led by the Nissan LEAF with 4,781 new registrations, followed by Tesla Model S with 4,040 units. The LEAF ended 2014 as the third top-selling new car in Norway. The top-selling plug-in hybrid in 2014 was the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV with 1,485 units sold, out of almost 1,700 plug-in hybrids sold in the country that year. As of December 2014, a total of 12,056 new Leafs had been sold in the country. In addition, there were 3,626 used imported Leafs registered in the country as of 30 September 2014. With about 16,000 units registered including used imports, the Leaf ranks as the country's all-time top-selling electric car, representing 39% of the country's all-electric registered fleet. The Tesla Model S, released in August 2013, ranks second with cumulative sales of 6,023 new units up until December 2014, with about 14% of the total registered plug-in electric vehicle stock. As of July 2014, Norway is the Model S largest overseas market, with an average of 436 sedans sold per month since August 2013. 2015 Record registrations and the highest monthly market share ever were registered in March 2015, with 3,391 new all-electric cars sold that month representing 23.4% of new car sales, and 357 plug-in hybrids representing a market share of 2.52% that month together reaching a combined PEV market share of 26.4%. In addition, a total of new 73 all-electric vans and 320 all-electric used import cars were registered in March 2015, raising total March registrations of light-duty plug-in vehicles to 4,141 units. 
March sales set another record, with three all-electric cars ranking as the top three selling new cars in the country, the Tesla Model S with 1,140 units, the Volkswagen e-Golf with 956 out of a total of 1,421 units sold by the Golf nameplate, and the Nissan Leaf with 526, a total of 39 1,632 light-duty plug-in electric vehicles were registered in Norway in 2015, up from 23,408 in 2014 New plug-in sales totaled 34,455 units, consisting of 25,779 pure electric cars, 7,964 plug-in hybrids, and 712 all-electric utility vans. A total of 5,177 used imports were registered, consisting of 5,122 used imported pure electric cars and 55 vans. The combined sales of new plug-in cars reached a market share of 22.4% of all new passenger cars sold in 2015, with the all-electric car segment reaching 17.1%, up from 12.5% in 2014, while the plug-in hybrid segment reached 5.2%, up from 1% in 2014. The VW e Golf, with 8,943 units sold, was the best selling plug in electric car in Norway in 2015, representing 34.7% of the plug in segment sales, ahead of the Tesla Model S and the Nissan Leaf. The e-Golf variant represented 54.6% of total new VW Golf nameplate sales in the country in 2015. For the second year running, the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV was top-selling plug-in hybrid in 2015 with 2,875 units, becoming the all-time top-selling plug-in hybrid in the country, with 4,360 units registered since 2014. In 2015, the Outlander was followed by the Volkswagen Golf GTE with 2,000 units, and the Audi A3 e-tron with 1,684 units, together representing 84% of the plug-in hybrid segment sales in 2015. As of December 2015, the Nissan Leaf continued as the all-time best-selling plug-in electric car in the country with a total of 50 15,245 new Leafs registered since 2011. In addition, a significant number of used imported Leafs from neighboring countries have been registered in the country, raising the stock of registered Leafs to over 20,000 units, meaning that more than 10% of Leafs sold in the world are on Norwegian roads by November 2015. Ranking second is the Volkswagen e-Golf, with 10,961 new units registered since 2014, followed by the Tesla Model S, with 10,062 new units registered in Norway through December 2015, representing about 10% of the Model S global sales. Topic. 2016 A total of 50,875 plug-in electric vehicles were registered in Norway in 2016, consisting of 24,222 new electric cars, 5,281 used imported all-electric cars, 20,663 new plug-in hybrid cars, 607 new all-electric vans, and 100 and two used imported all-electric vans. 
New light duty plug-in registrations totaled 45,492 plug-in cars and vans registered, with new plug-in passenger car registrations were up 32% from 2015. Registrations of new plug-in cars reached a market share of 29.1% of all new passenger cars registered in 2016, with the all-electric car segment reaching 15.7%, down from 17.1% in 2015, and the plug-in hybrid segment climbed to 13.4%, up from 5.3% in 2015. When conventional hybrid sales are accounted for, the combined market share of the electric drive segment achieved 40.2% of new passenger car sales in 2016. The stock of light-duty plug-in electric vehicles registered in Norway passed the 100,000-unit milestone in April 2016, making Norway the country with the fourth-largest stock of plug-in cars and vans in the world after China, the US and Japan, and also the European country with largest stock of light-duty plug-in vehicles. Registrations of light-duty all-electric vehicles achieved the 100,000-unit milestone in December 2016, with three models, the Nissan LEAF, Tesla Model S and Volkswagen e-Golf, accounting for more than half of total stock of pure electric cars on Norwegian roads at the end of November 2016. Norway was the best-selling plug-in country in Europe in 2016, surpassing the Netherlands, Europe's top market in 2015. The Outlander PHEV ended 2016 listed as the best-selling plug-in car in Norway with 5136 units sold, the first time ever a plug-in hybrid topped the Norwegian list of top-selling plug-in electric cars. Ranking next were the Volkswagen e-Golf 4705, Volkswagen Golf GTE 4337, Nissan Leaf 4162 and BMW i3 3953. Registrations of used imports were led by the Kia Soul 2,494 and the Nissan Leaf 2,112. When new car sales in 2016 are breakdown by powertrain or fuel, nine of the top ten best-selling models were electric drive models, three plug-in hybrids, three battery electric cars, three conventional hybrids, and only one diesel-powered car. A record market share for the plug-in electric passenger segment was achieved in March 2016 with 33.5% of new car car sales, the all-electric car segment had an 18.7% market share among new passenger cars, while the plug-in hybrid segment had a 14.8%. Also in March 2016, combined sales of the Golf plug-in variants totaled 1,216 units out of 1,411 new Golf nameplate units registered that month, representing 86.2% of the model total registrations. When new car registrations in July 2016 are broken down by type of powertrain, a total of five plug-in cars ranked among the top 10 best-selling new cars in Norway that month, with the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV ranking for the first time as the top-selling new car with 504 units registered in July 2016. Ranking next were the Volkswagen Golf GTE 412, Volkswagen Passat GTE 294, Volkswagen e-Golf 279, and Nissan Leaf 237. By the end of August 2016, about 90,000 pure electric vehicles have been registered in the country, including used imports, triggering the introduction of the new EK 
special license plate series dedicated to all electric vehicles. The VW Golf nameplate led new car registrations in September 2016 with 996 units, followed by the Tesla Model X with 601 and the BMW i3 with 520. However, when Golf family sales are broken down by each variant's POE train, the all-electric e-Golf registered 392 units, the Golf GTE plug-in hybrid 358, and the internal combustion-powered Golf 242 units. Therefore, the Model X not only led sales in the plug-in electric segment, but also was the top-selling new car model in September 2016. In addition, when models are ranked considering their powertrain, a total of five plug-in cars ranked among the top ten best-selling new cars in Norway that month. In addition to the Model X and the i3, the other top-selling plug-in models were the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV 427, Volkswagen e-Golf 392, and Volkswagen Golf GTE 358. Again in November 2016, an electric car topped new cars sales in the country. The BMW i3 listed as the top-selling new passenger car model with 1,014 units registered, capturing a market share of 7.7% of new car sales that month. As of the 30th of December 2016, the Nissan Leaf remains as the all-time best-selling plug-in electric car in the country, with a total of 19,407 new Leafs registered since 2011. When used imported Leafs are accounted for, there were 27,115 Leafs on Norwegian roads at the end of November 2016. Ranking second is the VW e-Golf with 16,216 units registered followed by the Tesla Model S with 11,878 units. As of December 2016, the Outlander PHEV is the all-time top-selling plug-in hybrid car with 9,499 new units registered since 2013. Topic 2017. A record monthly market share for the plug-in electric passenger segment was achieved in January 2017 with 37.5% of new car sales. The plug-in hybrid segment had a 20.0% market share of new passenger cars, while the all-electric car segment had 17.5%. In January 2017 the electrified segment for the first time ever surpassed combined sales of cars with a diesel or gasoline engine. Sales of plug-in hybrids, all-electric cars and conventional hybrids achieved a market share of 51.4% of new car sales that month. Another market share record was set in December 2017, when the combined plug-in segment achieved 50% of new registrations, 27.6% for all-electric cars and 22.4% for plug-in hybrids. When conventional hybrids are accounted for, the electrified segment achieved a record 58.4% of new car registrations that month, a total of 71,682 plug-in electric vehicles were registered in Norway in 2017, consisting of 33,025 new electric cars plus 55 new zero-emissions hydrogen cars, 8,558 used imported all-electric cars, 29,236 new plug-in hybrid cars, 742 new all-electric vans, and 176 used imported all-electric vans. 
the all-electric segment market share was 20.8% and the plug-in hybrid car segment was 18.4%, for a combined market share of 39.2% of new passenger cars registered in 2017. Adding conventional hybrids, the electrified segment for the first time ever in any country surpassed annual registrations of cars only powered by gasoline or diesel, with a market share of 52.1% of new cars registrations in 2017. The Volkswagen e Golf was the best selling plug in electric car with 6,639 new units registered, followed by the BMW i3 with 5,035 plus one unit with range extender, and the Tesla Model X with 4,748 units. The Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV ended 2017 with 4,067 new units registered, and rises to around 6,500 when used imports are accounted for. These sales results allow the Outlander PHEV to rank as the top-selling plug-in hybrid in 2017, and the Norwegian segment's top-selling model for four years running 2014 to 2017. It is the all-time top-selling PHEV with 13,566 new units sold as of December 2017. Among the top 20 best-selling new cars in Norway in 2017, half were plug-in passenger cars, six all-electric cars and four plug-in hybrids. The Volkswagen e-Golf was the country's top-selling new car in 2017, and the BMW i3 the second best-selling new car. The Tesla Model X ranked fourth overall. The complete Volkswagen Golf lineup was the top selling new car in 2017, completing 10 consecutive years as the leading model in the Norwegian market, but 54.6% were electric models e -golf and 20% were plug in hybrids. Golf GTE. As a result, three out of four new VW Golf cars registered in 2017 had a plug. Registration of used imports totaled 20,944 cars in 2017, mostly imported from European countries. Many of these imports were registered in their country of origin and shortly after shipped to Norway. A large proportion were electric cars, such as the Nissan Leaf and Kia Soul, and plug-in hybrids, mainly Mitsubishi Outlander. Accounting for total registrations, that is, including used imports, a total of 13 plug-in cars ranked among the top 20 best-selling new cars in Norway in 2017, 7 pure electrics and 6 plug-in hybrids. The list was completed by 3 conventional hybrids and 3 diesel-powered automobiles. Among the top 10, none was exclusively powered by an internal combustion engine, seven were plug-in cars and three conventional hybrids. The top four positions were occupied by plug-in models, VW e-Golf, Nissan Leaf, Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV and BMW i3 All-Electric. The Toyota RAV4 Hybrid was fifth. As of December 2017, two Norwegian cities are listed among the world's top 25 cities with the largest plug-in electric vehicle markets, accounting for 44% of the world's stock of plug-in electric cars, Oslo with about 75,000 vehicles and Bergen with about 40,000. The top 25 list is led by Shanghai with cumulative sales of over 162,000 electric vehicles, followed by Beijing with 147,000 and Los Angeles with 143,000. 
Among the 25 cities, Bergen has the highest market share of the plug-in segment, with about 50% of new car sales in 2017, followed by Oslo with 40%. Topic 2018. In September 2018, the market share of all electric cars reached 45.3% and plug-in hybrids 14.9%, for a combined market share of the plug-in car segment of 60.2% of new car registrations that month, becoming the world's highest ever monthly market share for the plug-in electric passenger segment in Norway, and in any country. The market share for diesel-powered cars fell to 12.4% of new registrations and for gasoline cars was 16.1%. Accounting for conventional hybrids, the electrified segment achieved a record 71.5% market share in September 2018. The plug-in car market share continued above 55% in October and November 2018, raising the segment market share for the first 11 months of 2018 to 48.3%. As of 30 September 2018, the Norwegian stock of light-duty plug-in electric vehicles registered in Norway totaled 273,559 units consisting of 183,637 all-electric passenger cars and vans, and 89,922 plug-in hybrids. Passenger cars totaled 2,728,043 units registered, of which, 178,521 were all electric cars and 89,034 were plug-in hybrid cars Conventional hybrid cars totaled 103,108 units 3.8% for the electrified segment to account for 13.7% of all registered passenger cars. In October 2018, Norway became the first country where one in every ten passenger cars registered is a plug in electric vehicle. As of March 2018, the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV remained as the top selling plug in hybrid with 14,196 new units sold. As of 31 October 2018, the Nissan LEAF continued to be the most popular model in the plug-in segment with 48,235 units registered, including over 15,000 used cars imported from neighboring countries, and representing over 25% of total all-electric car registrations in Norway. Topic. Latest trends Plug-in segment is replacing diesel cars During the first quarter of 2016 gasoline-powered cars kept almost the same market share as 2015, while the share of diesel-powered cars declined by 8.9%, almost corresponding to the gain of the plug-in hybrid segment. In September 2016 the Norwegian electric drive segment had achieved a record 47.8% market share of new cars sales that month. In 2016 the more general category of hybrid electric cars, which in Norway includes plug-in hybrids, had a market share of 24.5% of new car sales, up from 12.4% in 2015. 
accounting together the market shares of all electric cars 15.7%, plug-in hybrids 13.4%, and conventional hybrids 11.1%. The Norwegian electric drive segment achieved a record 40.2% market share of new cars sales in 2016. In contrast, the market share of new diesel-powered cars declined to 30.8% from 40.8% in 2015, and gasoline-powered cars had a 29.0% market share, slightly down from 29.6% in 2015. These trends indicate that the diesel segment, and in a lesser degree, the gasoline segment, are losing market share in favor of conventional hybrids and plug-in electric cars, particularly plug-in hybrids. Sales of plug-in cars were expected to overtake diesel-powered cars in Norway in 2017. In January 2017, the electrified passenger car segment for the first time ever surpassed monthly combined sales of new cars with a conventional diesel or gasoline engine. Sales of plug-in hybrids, all-electric cars and conventional hybrids achieved a market share of 51.4% of new car sales. The diesel car segment excluding hybrids had a market share of 23.9%. A new record was set in December 2017, when the plug-in car segment achieved a monthly market share of 50% of new registrations, 27.6% for all-electric cars and 22.4% for plug-in hybrids, both individually surpassing the market share of the diesel car segment excluding hybrids 18.8%. Cars powered only by gasoline represented 22.7% of new car sales. The plug-in segment set a new record market share in 2017 with 39.2% .2 of new passenger cars registered. The all-electric segment market share was 20.8% and the plug-in hybrid car segment was 18.4%, while the diesel-only segment was 23.1%, down from 30.8% in 2016, and gasoline-only was 24.7%, down from 29.0% in 2016. Adding conventional hybrids, the electrified segment for the first time ever in any country surpassed the combined annual registrations of cars only powered by gasoline or diesel, with a market share of 52.2% of new cars registrations in 2017. The combined market share of the plug in car segment in September 2018 rose to 60.2% .2 of new car registrations becoming the world's highest ever monthly market share for the plug-in electric passenger segment in Norway, and in any country. The market share of all electric cars was 45.3% and 14.9% for plug-in hybrids, while the market share for cars powered only by diesel fell to 12.4% and gasoline only to 16.1%. Accounting for conventional hybrids, the electrified segment achieved a record 71.5% market share in September 2018. <laughs> Plug-in hybrid segment growth to the expense of pure electrics The plug-in hybrid segment outsold all electric cars for the first time ever in the month of April 2016. Registrations of new passenger plug-in vehicles during the first half of 2016 totaled 11,744 all-electric cars and 10,338 plug-in hybrids, with the all-electric car segment reaching a market share of 15.1%. 
down from 18.4% in the same period in 2015, while the plug-in hybrid segment reached a record 13.3%, up from 4.5% in 2015. These sales results for the first half of 2016 revealed a new trend in the Norwegian plug-in electric market. After years of spectacular growth, the market share of all electric cars suffered a decline over the previous year, while the plug-in hybrid segment experienced significant growth. In terms of sales volume during the first half of 2016, for the first time plug-in hybrid registrations 10,338 were very close to all electrics 11,744. Accounting for registrations during the first three quarters of 2016, plug-in hybrids grew nearly three-fold from the same period in 2016. According to the Norwegian Electric Vehicle Association this new trend is the result of uncertainty created by the government about the future incentives for zero-emission vehicles. Also, buyers have more models to choose from, as the number of plug-in hybrid cars available in the market has increased significantly. As of August 2016, there were 19 plug-in hybrid models in the market and 15 all-electric cars. Accounting for cumulative registrations between January and July 2016, four plug-in hybrids were listed among the top ten selling plug-in electric cars, with a plug-in hybrid ranking for the first time ever in first place. As the trend of stronger plug-in hybrid sales continued in July 2016, the split between battery electric cars and plug-in hybrids almost reached parity, with 12,855 electric cars registered in the first seven months of 2016 compared to 12,203 plug-in hybrids registered in the same period in September 2016, the Norwegian Electric Vehicle Association proposed to the government to change the rules in the 2017 budget to limit the incentives for plug-in hybrids with insufficient all-electric range and luxury models featuring an electric powertrain with a small battery with the sole purpose of increasing power output. Topic. Customers in waiting lists In May 2018, European Federation for Transport and Environment, based on research by the EU Electromobility Platform, reported that there is evidence from Norway and other European countries suggesting that EV adoption is being hampered locally by insufficient supply of electric cars to match the existing level of demand. In the particular case of Norway, despite being a small country, demand is outstripping supply, and as a result, the waiting time for costumers wanting to buy an electric car is between eight months and two years, while thousands have paid deposits to be on a waiting list for new models. In October 2018, the Norwegian Electric Vehicle Association Norsk reported that there is a supply shortage of some electric cars models already released, and also, there are many customers who already paid a deposit for reservation of a future model, for a combined total of about 30,000 electric car customers listed on different waiting lists. As of October 2018, the waiting list for models already released include the Tesla Model 3 10,000, Hyundai Kona Electric 6,000, second generation Nissan Leaf 3000, and Jaguar I-Pace The waiting list for models slated for release in the Norwegian market in the near future include, the Audi e-tron Quattro 6, 
Kia e Nero 5900, Porsche Taycan 2300, Mercedes-Benz EQC 2200, DS Crossback E-Tense 1350, and BMW X3 1000. Total paid reservations amount to more than 40,000 pre-orders, as some costumers signed in for more than one model. According to NRK estimates, the total amount paid by costumers in these waiting lists is about 400 million krone about $48 million. By monetary value, the waiting list is led by the Audi e-tron Quattro and the Tesla Model 3. Topic: Registrations by model. The following table presents registrations of plug-in electric cars and utility vans by model per year since 2008 through December 2015. Figures between 2008 and 2013 correspond to the combined number of first registrations by year accounting for both, new and used imports. Figures for 2014 and 2015 correspond only to new car registrations. The breakdown between new and used import for the Nissan Leaf and the Kia Soul EV is shown because these are the two PEV models with the largest share of used import registrations, almost 70%. Topic: Effects on oil consumption. Despite having for many years the world's highest growth rates and highest penetration of EVs, Norway's crude oil consumption for motor vehicles increased from 2013 to 2016, particularly dutiable diesel fuel. One factor in the slow decline of oil consumption is Norway's relatively rapid population growth. Another factor is the significant number of gasoline and diesel powered vehicles still on the roads, with only 5% being plug in electric passenger cars by the end of 2016. However, according to Forbes, government figures for the sales of petroleum products in 2017 show that for the first time since 2014, Norway's consumption of gasoline and diesel declined across the board in 2017. Motor gasoline sales declined by 2.9%, dutiable diesel fell by 2.7%, and duty-free diesel used by agricultural equipment declined by 2.6%. This decline follows oil sales that were flat in 2014, and then grew by 1% in 2015 and 3.2% in 2016. Topic. Effects on average fleet CO2 emissions A 2009 European Union regulation set a mandatory average CO2 emissions target for new cars of 130 grams per kilometre, that were phased in between 2012 and 2015. A target of 95 grams per kilometer will apply from 2021. This regulation applies to the average fleet emissions of new passenger cars sold in the European Union and EEA member states. A car manufacturer who fails to comply has to pay an excess emissions premium for each car registered according with amount of gram per kilometer of exceedance. The average emissions level of a new car sold in 2017 was significantly below the 2015 target, at 118.5 grams of CO2 per kilometre. 
Norway achieved in 2016 the European target set for 2021, with average CO2 emissions for all new passenger cars registered in 2016 of 93 grams per kilometer, down 7 grams per kilometer from 2015. In order to reduce the country's greenhouse gas emissions, the Norwegian government pledged in 2012, among other measures, a target for the average fleet's CO2 emission rate of new passenger cars of 85 grams per kilometer by 2020, 10 grams per kilometer lower than the European Commission's targets for 2021. As a result of its fast growing EV market penetration, average fleet CO2 emissions have been falling in Norway from month to month. Average CO2 emissions for all new passenger cars registered in 2017 was 82 grams per kilometer, down from 93 grams per kilometer in 2016, and below the government's target of 85 grams set for 2020. With all electric cars accounting for just over 5% of the total stock of passenger cars registered at the end of 2017, Norway achieved its transportation emissions target three years before the pledged deadline. In September 2018, the average CO2 emissions from all first time registered new passenger cars achieved a new record low of 55 grams per kilometer, down from 71 grams grams per kilometer in September 2017. An explanation of the new records, among other things, is found in the record sales of all electric cars that took place in September 2018, when for the first time ever, zero emissions cars stood for almost half of passenger car sales for a month 45.3%. Such a large number of electric cars caused a record low average fleet CO2 emissions. Topic: Controversies. Topic: Piggyback on French subsidies. Some car dealers in Norway have been importing new and used plug-in electric cars, in particular from Sweden, Denmark, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, France, Italy and Spain. In the case of the Nissan Leaf, these dealers buy mostly new cars at a lower price than Norway's retail price thanks to the moderate demand for Leaf in other countries, where better price deals are offered. Then, the cars are sold in the Norwegian market up to 30,000 kr $5, cheaper than from Norway's dealerships. Official Norwegian dealers have raised questions about the kind of guarantee offered for the imports. Out of 1,412 all-electric cars registered in the country during the first quarter of 2013, 269 were used imports, representing 19% of all registrations during this quarter. In September 2013, several French news outlets reported that according to the Norwegian newspaper Dagens Nyringsliv, some car dealers in Norway have been buying electric cars in France and earning the €7,000 government subsidy. These cars are then imported to Norway and after discounting the freight costs, they are sold at a discount. Dagens Nyringsliv cited the case of one dealer near Oslo with 70% of its electric car sales corresponding to vehicles imported from France, and with at least 40 Leafs imported, totaling €280,000 in benefits at a cost of the French taxpayers. These dealers are taking advantage of a loophole in the French law, which only requires to have an address in the country when buying a new car. <laughs> loophole to EU regulations 
According to Der Spiegel, by the early fourth quarter of 2015 the Kia Solev ranked as the top-selling plug-in electric car in Germany during 2015 with 2,459 units sold, with almost 1,000 registered in October, nevertheless, there were actually only a few of them on German roads. At the time, about 1,400 sole EVs had been shipped to Norway and sold as used cars, where availability of new sole EVs is limited. According to the magazine, Kia Motors is registering the electric cars in Germany and then shipping them to Norway, which does not belong to the European Union, as a strategy to reduce the average CO2 fleet emissions of the entire Hyundai Kia group. This strategy allows the carmaker to comply with European Union regulations that mandate 130 grams of CO2 emission per kilometre in 2015, and so they avoid to pay a fine of €70 million Euros per year for each gram above the established average limit. According to German authorities this loophole is legal. A total of 2,044 Kia Soul EVs were imported to Norway as used cars during 2015. See also